we have spent the afternoon strolling the streets of, of Old Town Riga and you know there must be more cafes outdoor dining little bistro kinds of things in this town than any place I think we've ever been yeah I just can't believe it, how many outdoor dining things there are it's amazing Being our usual selves, we're out bright and early. It's barely seven o'clock. And uh, we were out exploring already before there's a soul on the street. But today we're going over to the Art Nouveau section of the city to check out all the colorful buildings. This, the city of Riga has one of the biggest examples of Art Nouveau uh, architecture anywhere that I'm aware of and uh, this is going to be a really colorful experience. You know, so far the old town of Riga has impressed me. You know, this is and it, it's, it's just beautiful and uh, it's kind of, it has its charm and it's, but it's not too uh, over the top, you know, like some places you go that it doesn't seem to be tourist driven as much. Um, but, and, and if you compare it to um, Tallinn, oh, that place is crazy with tourists, this place, is peaceful in comparison. So, looking forward to the Art Nouveau. I do not care whether you are a student of architecture or not, you are gonna come, you absolutely must come to this section of Rigo with all of its Art Nouveau. It, it just, it's, <laughs> it leaves you speeches. It is so fun, all the fanciful carvings and whatever you wanna say about it on the, on the building facades. It's amazing. You don't want to miss it. The other thing that's impressing me about Riga is they've got a lot of green space, some really beautiful parks of substantial size, really. I'm liking it. I'm not sure that it's passing the Arnie and Joe, I want to live here test, but it's awful close for me. Jody doesn't like it quite that much, but I'm enjoying our stay here. found our way to the Central Market. It is unique in that it's made out of five former dirigible hangars. And now they've made it into this huge, huge Central Market. We're just gonna walk in and just walk around for a little bit. Not that we're probably gonna buy anything, but you never know. We just happened to walk in on the fish end, which <laughs> we're not fishy here, so it doesn't, <laughs> the aroma just isn't our thing here. But this is pretty impressive.
So this is this whole hall from one end to the other. Nothing but fish products. Seafood, I guess you would want to say. Moving on. We're in the fresh produce section. There aren't as many in here, but the size of the fruit, it's just amazing. I don't see anything like that in most American grocery stores. been to many many markets and this place just might surpass any that we've been to I, you know there might be some that are bigger but boy with the indoor ones and now we're outside this this is an amazing place I promise this is the last last time I'll go on about this market We've just been walking through the outside and uh, this is when you really need smell vision because the, the, the aroma from the fruit and the aroma from the flowers, God, it is simply amazing. When I said it before, I've been to a lot of different markets and I don't think I've ever had the sensory experience that I've had, I've had walking around here. It's been amazing. 